Yes, yes, I'm on my way. Just a moment. Come, Sergei is waiting for us. Seriously, Serdar, who sleeps during the day? And yes, I know, there is no difference between day and night down here. I get that you need everything, but I can't just leave this place. It's not a request. And we'll ensure your wife and kid are protected. That's not the part that worries me. You're scared? Good day. Doctor. Hello. the rumors, but there was a mutant attack on one of our guard posts. We are preparing a team to take them down. So everyone's a bit tense, as you might imagine. I will. Thank you. Well, guys, let's have a drink. To living. To life. To life. Ah, great stuff. Yes. Listen to me, Han. You're not a bad guy, but you keep to yourself too much. Always sitting with your books, even talking you into getting a drink and stuff. Lighten up a bit, man. Yeah, or you'll just end up all alone. I appreciate the advice. Sergey, bring the man! Sound the alarm! I'm on it. Alarm is under attack! The target ready, it's gonna get tough. Who's on this? Attack hard!
What's up? Where is everyone? They flagged us. The station is a bloodbath. We took the women and children out through the side passages. But they can't hold the south entrance. We've got to do something! Sirdar, Kuzmich, follow Sergei. Make your way to the south entrance. Use an explosive to blow it up. O okay. Got them. Let's go. Do we rely on our eyes too much? Are we too convinced that the things we can see are real and those we can't see are not? What's true darkness? And what's true blindness? Open your eyes and you shall see. Or you shall not. Sometimes one must get into an utter darkness in order to begin to see. We avoid the darkness because it hides things that may be too horrible for us even to imagine. It's the unspeakable that scares us. The unspeakable that the darkness holds within. It's the asset that corrodes the limits of the world. We think we know. When the entire world gets immersed in the dark, you can't avoid it any longer. You can only embrace it. What? I I'm 
something, Sully. Did you say something? Are you okay? I've been yelling at you, but you just kept standing there, staring off into space. Flap thought you were one of those boogeymen the exhibition guys were babbling about. He almost shot you. I'm fine. I just had the strangest feeling of deja vu for a moment. Deja vu, eh? Isn't that what they call it when you experience a memory from a past life? Past life? Pfft. It's a misfiring of electrical discharges in your brain, causing an illusion, nothing more. <laughs> if you say so... Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back home. Oh, I'm sorry, of course. Turn the key to start the trolley. Be safe, Sander. I'll be all right. God, you are back. Max has been up my butt asking where you are literally every five minutes. Tasha, treating drunken merchants for radiation sickness rarely goes as planned. He said to send you down to the mushroom farm as soon as you turned up. And word of warning, our station chief is not in one of his better moods. <laughs> I look forward to seeing one of those firsthand someday. Even the mutants leave us alone, mostly. Life's good, yes? But consider this. It's 2028. We survived a nuclear apocalypse and radiation, and all the shit life has thrown at us since. But you tell me, where is everybody? 
I don't mean Moscow or Russia. I mean the world. We're down here, facing all over each other's territory. Like Metro Station is the goddamn winter palace or something. Oh, hey, Serdar. Max isn't in his office. If you go through the living quarters, you might still catch him. See him now. He went that way. This is Max we're talking about. Ah, Vladimir. How's this stomach? Good. So did she leave a note or anything? No, I was just there one second and gone the next. I can't even imagine. How old? Check them again. That girl had to go somewhere. I gotta go. Max out. Want to switch jobs? Maybe you should chase runaways and assholes all day and let me run around playing doctor for a while. I've got a very healthy list of people I'd like to stab with a needle, let me tell you. I think you may want to work on your bedside manner. Don't even start. You and your wife are not my favorite people right about now. Yana, has something happened? Has something happened? He asks, if by something, do you mean did your wife destroy our mushroom farm because she heard the voice of her dead son again? Because if so, then yes, something happened. Yana, is she all right? She's a lot better than her mushroom farm. came from. Five years to build this steam system. Hundreds of issues to consider. You know what scenario never came up? What if you can't hear the voices of the dead inside your pipes? I don't understand. Yana was doing so well. <sighs> I'll take care of it, I promise. Yeah, well, you promised 500 times. I'm up to my eyeballs in bullshit today, so I don't need any more. Okay? Sorry. Go. Go check on your wife. But then, you come see me. Friend or not, this station is my wife. This has to be the end of it. Thank you. 
is kind of So you have to jump across the catwalk, but you can imagine who you have to thank for that one. my calling as an interior decorator. Perhaps. Hey, go on then. I know you're dying to start doctoring me. Max said you were pet here again. Do you feel up to telling me about it? Do you is the question. Stop taking my yellow pen though. You what? Keep in mind, I was still taking them when I decided to stop. We've been through he this. He said that it hurt me. Your meds didn't make me lose it. On the contrary, they kept obscuring my ability to hear what I was so desperate to hear. Anna, hallucinations are not trivial you are, things. You are too much hallucinations. You hear voices. No one else can. The fact that you won't even consider any alternative is the reason I threw the Heloperidol out in the first place. You threw them away? None of you have ever heard Petya's voice, so how can you know what I'm hearing? Because he died, Yana. He died, Yana, 15 years ago. And you can't hear an eight-year-old boy for 15 years. Where's the shutter? Back there, through the vent. mentioned the young girl disappeared from the station. Could you have overheard someone discussing? No, mister. There has to be a reason for everything. I didn't hallucinate my son's voice because of a bunch of gossiping busybodies. For all things, there is an explanation. Even the ones too terrible to accept. I can't exactly tell that to Petya, can I? Sorry. It wasn't fair. When you're only caring for me. My love is not something you ever have to apologize for. It is free. Caught yourself. Go on. Run back to your boyfriend, Max. I heard him whining for you to go see him once you made sure I wouldn't burn anything else down. I think I've earned a little hard labor. Just give me some time, okay? I can reduce some of the pressure from here. Max passed through a while ago. I guess you saw what happened at the farm then. 
It's being taken care of. Thanks. Serdar, Max is back. He's up in the office. Hello. I believe you called for a doctor. You're a child. I'm the boss. The way this jungle is growing, we may never have to repopulate the surface. I doubt God invented plastic with nuclear winter in mind. But hey, a fake garden is better than no garden at all, eh? How is Yana? Pretending her husband isn't a hot-headed, insensitive ass. You know what? Good. Say stupid shit more often. Your tour so lovey-dovey as it is. I, I, I literally throw up in my desk at least once a day. She was trying so hard to be reasonable. My friend, I've watched you both in your several lifetimes worth of bullshit just to try and make her feel halfway human again. Trust me, your wife knows that. Let us hope so. In any event, the more pressing concern is that it appears Yana has... Uh, Run out of her hollow peridol. That's why she lost her edge. Uh, you and bad timing, pal. The stalker who tracks down your fancy medical stuff. Very talented lady I used to run with, named Nata. She was supposed to make a delivery over a week ago, which is long enough that I think I may have to strike Nata out of my little romantic birthdays calendar, if you know what I mean. Though, I do know the route she usually takes. Could the medication still be there somewhere? The goddamn Holy Grail could be there. Max, why don't you just tell me where the route is? Because you'll go. And from here, the first thing you'll hit is a Nosalis den. That's probably the most relaxing part of the trip. You forget, I am not, shall we say, inexperienced when it comes to Nosalis. All right, you're all stationed. Sorry. Um, anyway, normally I'd uh, hire some poor suckers to go, but since we're uh, running low on poor suckers right now, my lovely voice in your ear will have to do. Stick it to your shoulder like this. Voice activated. State of the art. When there was a state of the art. It's almost like living in the future. And for times when my wisdom alone does not suffice. I've heard they don't do much without those bullets. <laughs> you want an empty clip just to look cool? Be my guest. Go on, smart guy. Take it. Yes, I know. Very pretty. Now do me a favor and holster it while you're in the station. Okay, cowboy? We have to at least pretend we are civilized down here. Lucky for you, the same supply cart that dropped Gorky Park off here is still uh, out on the station. And since nobody killed Akim on his way back here, his spare ammo should still be on the trolley as well. Max, you there? One sec. Truck two, call me when you find the ammo. Okay, I'm here. Let me find the ledger. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I know. Hey, Serda. I went through the trouble of draining a few bottles. You know, give you something to shoot at. Show me that Tokarev Max gave you. Next, grab this magazine and insert it into your Tokarev. Go on, get a feel for the trigger.
Not bad for a physician! I'll grab this magazine and store it. Last thing you want is to run into some lurkers with an empty gun. I don't know if you handled that kind of trolley before, but Akim was complaining it's hard to start. <clears throat> Admittedly, Akim is an idiot. I'm out of grenades. Burdened my wife enough. Hey, give yourself some credit. The day is still young. <laughs> 